Hello and welcome to Draw at Home with Tupperberry Art. I'm Kimberly, ready to teach you how to draw a tiger. If you're celebrating the Lunar New Year, then you know this is the year of the tiger. So let's get started. And the first thing we do is the head. So we're gonna break everything down in basic shapes. And I'm starting with an oval, or mine looks like a bit of a lemon. The next thing we're going to draw is the nose. So just below the halfway point, I'm going to draw what I call a squash looking heart because you can see the rounded bottom. Draw two little lines above that to indicate for the nose and then two circles that touch those lines. Here come the eyes. Inside those circles, I want you to draw a second set of circles. And then inside those, you're going to draw one more little circle up in the top corner even on each side. So when you fill in your pupils and make them black, you know not to color in that little white spot. Around the eyes, you're gonna draw two little boomerangs. These lines around the eyes will help give it a real tiger look. Fun fact is tigers squint or close their eyes to show when they're happy. Moving on to the mouth, underneath the center of the nose, a line and a hook to the side. And underneath that, we'll add a little bit longer of a chin. So just a curved little line. And you can erase little lines as you go along that you don't need. Let's give this tiger a little bit more of a snout. So right beside the nose, you're going to draw two curved lines. Here on the snout, we're gonna add a little bit of the spotting. This is also the spot where the whiskers come out. So if you want, you can add some of the whiskers, but I'm going to mainly leave that till the end when it's colored and then I can add. But the whiskers will come out of the dots and move downward. We need to make our tiger look less like an egg and more like a tiger. So we're gonna change the face shape. So see on both sides, I'm actually going to bring it up. It's almost like cheekbones you could think of it as and curve those lines up and change the face and erase the lines I don't need. The ears are simple because they're two little half circles and they're not very big on each side of the head. Notice the spacing between the ears and I drew a second half circle inside of those ears as well. Now it's time to do some stripes. Did you know that if you shave the tiger's hair off, you would still find stripes all over its body? Watch how I get symmetrical stripes. What I do with on one side, I'm going to do on the other. So if I do it here on the right, I'll do the same spot on the left. I can put one down the middle, the center of the face. And moving on down the sides of the face, I've got one underneath the eye and the exact same on the other side, continuing the same pattern. I'll make my stripes look the same on the right as they do on the left, so they look symmetrical. Once again, I wanna change the shape of the face a little bit, so I'm gonna add a little bit of hair around the mouth and around the bottom of the head. So I can bring my hair down on both sides, erase the lines you don't need to give it a nice clean look. Now you're ready to color. Before you color everything orange, take note on where I'm coloring. The top part of the head and the nose around the eyes are orange, but the bottom part of the cheeks and into the mouth are going to stay white. Once you have that first color of orange down, find yourself a darker color and add that to the top of the head. It'll add a little more dimension, maybe a little bit more under the eyes. And then if you want, you can even add a darker color. You'll see I have three colors in there. When you're all done coloring, give it a nice, bold outline and don't forget to add those whiskers. Get creative and do something fun with your own background. And while you're deciding that, here's another fun fact. Did you know tiger's pee actually smells like buttered popcorn? Isn't that funny? Thank you for doing another draw at home with Tupperberry Art. Remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and come back and do another drawing video with me. Thank you. Bye-bye.